that. So <clears throat> yesterday was the protest and the marches, uh, and like I said, they really didn't get the numbers they needed to get out there. And you know, there's there's many variables to the situation, and one of them is that they don't have a leader. Uh, maybe someone like John Lennon, if he was still alive, would be able to sort of uh, relay the message to the masses. I don't think it's going to work through online. I don't think enough people uh, are involved with Facebook or Twitter or have smartphones. I don't think there's enough uh, people behind the movement. Um, and it's, it's, it's simpler for people to just say, oh, why don't those guys just get a job? People who have a job can look down at the protesters and have their superiority or, superiority or, or their abuse of power because they actually have a job. It's just, just so strange. And then, you know, you hear people supporting the cops saying, hey, my buddy's a cop down there. It's horrible. You know, they're antagonizing. And I, I kind of have to admit, I've seen a lot of yelling at the police officers for I don't know what reason. I don't know why they just don't stand there and, and just show, you know, silent solidarity. But the, the, the bigger idea that I have is everyone needs to have a camera on them. I just saw in the paper where you can buy this camera that hooks in your ear. It looks just like a Bluetooth earpiece, and it will stream live, and it will also store um, video as well. And that's really important because everybody tells a different story about what's happening down there. You hear so many different abuses of power. You hear you know, lawyers, judges, cops being abused, and you know, there's got to be a way to record that, hand it off to someone else so that it can be shown. But again, I don't think this movement takes off until more people uh, have smartphones, look for alternative news sources, and don't listen to the you know the common phrases of "get a job" or "they're hippies" or "they're bums." It's, that just shows to me that people aren't really doing their homework and don't have a grasp of the major issues of. And there are difficult issues. I mean, credit swaps. I don't understand exactly how derivative credit swaps works. I know that computers came along, made it very complicated um, to trade these derivative swaps, which were really loans, leveraged loans. Even to explain it is boring, but it was it was it was done in a very high tech way, and it created a bubble and it burst. So, and of course, money in corporations does not go well. All these people in Congress are being bought off. And that's why nothing gets done because legislation is really run by corp corporate greed or by corporations. And until we get that out of there, it's going to continue. But most people are just not going to get on board. So I'd be curious to know what their next movement's going to be, what Anonymous is going to do, and what phases they're going to come up with. But I really believe they need a leader, probably somebody with name recognition, and someone who can speak well on the issues and bring everybody together. It's the only way it can be done, I think. We'll see.